Hello everyone and happy Victoria Day. I hope you're having an amazing long weekend. Isn't it great to get an extra day? I don't know. I just feel so lucky to have some holiday time. My children don't get as much time off as I do, um, you know, in education. So I feel really blessed. I'm sure you do too, to have some extra time doing what you want to do this weekend. So congratulations. We are on module four, almost halfway through our course. And this is sort of going to be a big week for getting our projects going, which is a, which are the bulk of our work in the course. So that's good news that we're doing that launching into um, module four. It's always a goal of mine to give you extra time on that because we always seem to run out, don't we? Uh, we'll run out with our run out of time. So this week, I've asked, actually slowed us down a little bit because um, I'm realizing from a couple of folks that um, it was a lot to get through. Um, we've we've got a lot of other assignments up and going, and um, so if you're bored and you don't have things to do, you can let me know and I can help you with that. But I have a feeling that because this is a very self-directed process in this course around research that you will be taking your learning in your direction. My role is going to switch a little bit um, in terms of what, what my role is, and that is more facilitating your learning, finding, pointing you to the right resources, um, provoking you with some questions, and really connecting you with each other and other people in the field and um, out, outside of our course who I feel that could be really good feedback for you. So as I was listening to Lee on Saturday, I was thinking about how that, that um, idea of shifting the roles in the classroom, it really ha is, working, is happening with all of us in all of our learning these days, not just with um, K to 12. Uh, it's not about not having enough information anymore and there only being limited amounts of information. It's about finding the right pieces of information that help us just at the right time and connecting us to other people who can further our learning. So um, let's see what we should be talking about this week. Uh, I added a couple of things to our gallery. Um, let's see. One was just a funny thing that Emma shared, um, which I couldn't resist, and that was this joke. I thought that was really good. And I also somewhere on here added uh, Sally's interpretation using her sketch noting skills of ISD standards. Um, I think also Tiffany has one that I need to add in here, but I'm just uh, reminded that I'll, I'll share things as, as, as I come across them. So if you're feeling like you've got something you want to post there, um, let me know. And I could actually, actually that slide deck is wide open so you can add your own uh, things. That's where you posted your six word story. Um, oh, or maybe I just have the link to that. Anyway, let me know and uh, I can make sure it's wide open for us after Saturday. So let's go to the assignments page um, first because I think that's a good place to start. And let's go to that one called Heads Up. And I'm actually going to, well, actually I'll stay in, inside. You know that you can be clicking on the links that I give you so that you can open them up in new windows. Otherwise, they sort of stay in this, do in this browser, this frame, and you can't really edit it. Okay, so what I've done is um, I'm, I've actually taken out <clears throat> next week's reflection because we are having a short week, plus we're getting together next Saturday. And I think what we'll do is then postpone your next reflection to the following weekend because it'll be hard for you to be uh, reflecting on Sunday when you've spent all day together on Saturday. So it's now June 5th. I've actually switched it to Mondays for reflections because what I'm noticing is people need Sunday to get finished. You need your weekend. So Let's just move it to Mondays. And then <clears throat> I've taken out a couple so that in total we're going to have six reflections over our time together. I think that's plenty. And I'll be giving you feedback in on your first three together and then your last three all together. 
Speaking of feedback, if you've been uploading your reflections to the Dropbox, I can give you your feedback through there. That's where you should have received your ISTE feedback. If, however, your whatever your um, application is that you're doing your assignments in doesn't lend itself to be easily uploaded to the Dropbox, what I'm going to do is share a Google document with each of you and that I'll put feedback there as well. So it'll just be between you and I and that's where by the end of the course actually you'll have all your feedback in one place um, for all of your assignments there. So that'll make it easier. So if I haven't already done shared that with you it's because you have been adding to the Dropbox and I've been giving you your feedback there so that's perfectly fine and over the course of the weeks it will just change to a Google Doc as well. I might do it in both places. I'm not I'm not, I don't mind cutting and pasting. So, Most of you have given me your name of the educator you're going to follow. I've seen some great, great ideas coming out of there. Some of the people that I know, which is kind of fun, and some that I don't know. So I'll be learning lots from those folks. That will be due on June 17th when you share back your learning with us in a, in a very 5 to 10 minute presentation when we're there on a Saturday. Uh, most of you have given me your ISTE standards assignment as well. Congratulations, that's done. Um, and I, I've pretty much finished the feedback for that, so I'll be doing the last couple over this week. And then in Module 3, you're thinking about an area of interest for your research project. So that we are really moving along nicely, I think. I'm going to open the browser right up here for content. So we are now at module four, inquiry-based approaches. And again, I've just kind of pared a few things down here because you're in explore mode until you really start to do uh, hammer out how your, your research project is going to look. So same format, you've got a module um, big ideas page. And that's where um, I've actually given us a little bit of a, a little bit more about the action research project or the inquiry research project. And I've got a suggested framework and we will unpack this on Saturday. This is something that has uh, worked for me in the past. It, it works when, it, whether you're going to choose something you'll work on individually or with a team or a pair. And it gives you an idea of really this, this metacognitive kind of approach where we're going to plan and monitor and reflect and act. Um, and that, we're, that our learning is kind of cyclical in that way. If you have um, an issue because you don't actually have a classroom to test your ideas out on, we're going to work on that on Saturday and make sure you're okay. We can either have you matched up with one of the other people in the course that, that, that can lend you their class or maybe even a small group of students and you could come in and work with those students if you wanted to try some things out. Or your, um, you could still do the background research for your area of interest and your project might look more like um, some type of reflective journal or a plan for the future in that you might be collecting some um, some resources that uh, you would be using in a in a classroom so we'll we'll figure that out Dep it sort of depends on your topic and it depends on what your set setting is so don't worry we'll figure that out and then in my Twitter network this week, I noticed this Trevor McKenzie fella was sharing the kinds of uh, framework he gives his students for free inquiry. He's calling it, reminded me sort of of the genius hour that Lee was talking about last Saturday. Um, so that'll be jumping into research this week. And then the other one is around copyright and creative commons. Part ones are learning about this. So I'm going to ask part twos and specialists to help out with that. And it fits for all of our uh, learning objectives in all three areas so we'll learn a lot from each other in that discussion. The Minds On this week is actually a brand new resource hot off the press and I believe that Emma Ray was involved with this uh, project so she'll be able to share with us maybe a little bit about what it was like 
But um, they've created a resource, Technology Enabled Learning and Teaching Ontario, so our e-learning folks, and my colleague Karen at the ministry led a writing project. And they're looking at learning experiences. They're using those seven principles of innovative learning environments because Karen couldn't use the global competencies. They weren't released yet from the ministry, so she had to stick with the OECD work. And they've created these learning experiences that involve student voice, teacher voice, teacher reflection, lots of information about technology tools, and even lesson. They're not called lesson plans. I think they're called lesson experiences or something like that. But anyway, take some time to explore this. You, anything that I'm showing you, I'm hoping you're going to borrow or adapt or use in your research projects or any other um, of the assignments you have for the course. So, you know, don't be afraid to take something that you're seeing in these explore sections and try them out yourself. That's why I'm sharing them. So that's, that's what the Minds On will be. It's going to take you a while to get through that resource. It's really, really interesting and rich. And then we've got the copyright and creative commons discussion. So everyone, please jump into that. Um, with your experiences and your questions. Boy, it took a while to get back here. And then specialist students actually have a coaching activity because we have Peter with us on Saturday. We're going to flip some of the content so you do a little bit of that on your own so that we can use the time that he's there, um, he and I, and, and you folks will have some time to um, hang out and uh, work on some activities. And then there's the um, reflection on the activity that Lee had uh, with us last Saturday. Um, now, sadly, she... Um, we have our slides, but that Zoom platform that she used that works so beautifully, it, um, it crashed on her. And her I, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of my talk here today, so I won't go over it, but it's explained there. So jump into that discussion, share what you learned. If you weren't there, ask some questions um, and check out her slides. I hope to have an update with her recorded session for you very soon. Okay, so that's it. I will write up a news item with this video in it. And next week, I will see you Saturday morning at the same location at Laurier, same room and everything. And it's from 9 to 4. And uh, yes, we'll see you online and we'll see you next Saturday. Enjoy your week. Bye.